<laughs> okay, secondly, the state attorney's office is going to do a review as well, and they've indicated to us that they're going to do this as quickly as possible so that they can get to the bottom of it. And they've already agreed that they're going to expedite it. We want the charges against Andrew to be dropped. We want the police to be held accountable for their actions. And we want tasers to not be standard issue equipment for police officers on campus. We feel that their very existence on a police officer's belt encourages their excessive use. So we want to re-examine the policy of having every officer carry a taser. This must be a cohesive movement. It must be peaceful. We are better than that. We are better than the violence of the police officers on this campus. We will be peaceful, we will have solidarity, and we will be together. I'm asking that we do this in a very orderly way. We are better than them. Do not forget it. We demand justice. We are students at this university and we have some say in what goes on on this campus. The cops yesterday were an embarrassment to both the university and the city of Gainesville. We can't stand for this. The police have betrayed our trust. They have betrayed the trust of every student on this campus because they have suppressed thought in the halls of education. No more tasers than you have! Are you serious? Have charges been dropped against our friend? As of this time, the charges have not been Have there been any charges brought against the officer? The charges have not been against the officer. The information, sir, the information on the press release talks about two officers being placed on administrative leave. There are With or without pay? With pay. At this point, charges have not been dropped against our peer. And two officers have put on been put on paid administrative leave. Oh! Drop the charges! Drop the charges! Drop the charges! Drop the same kind of concerns that you have. And let me tell you about a couple of things that have happened already this morning that you may not know about. Number one, Chief Stump has asked the Florida Department of Law Enforcement to come in and to do a review of what happened and to give us their their take on what was done and whether it was done. I'll reiterate it in a minute. So that, that, that's an okay. independent review you're saying? That is an independent external review, that's right. Florida Department of Law Enforcement. Third thing I want to tell you about is there will be a panel appointed of faculty and students to examine the FDLE's report and to look at any protocol and procedure issues to make sure things were done correctly and to make any recommendations for changes that might be needed. My friends filled out here. I'd like to turn yeah, it to the yeah, yeah. This is an institute of higher learning and you know expressing yourself is part of what this experience is all about. These students who came out here today, they have every right to do that. And that's why they're out here and relying on them to do it obviously. This is the kind of video, this is the kind of thing that draws a real gut emotional response from anybody. Obviously it's it's an upsetting video. You know, when you hear the person screaming and you see what's happening, sure, this is gonna draw a, a, an emotional response from anybody. Um, and you know the, the university has the same kind of concerns that we've been hearing from the community at large. We've heard quite a lot of concerns, uh, understandably. I mean, again, you know, it's an emotional thing. People want to come out and hear their, have their say, and we want to listen to it. We want to hear it. You know, we've gotten literally hundreds of emails today and phone calls from people. Because this is a national issue now. This has been on the national news. We're getting a lot of input, you know, and we understand people are upset. We want to respond to it the right way. We're working out our problems because we all have problems, and it's all right to have problems because that's what makes life life, you know. And um, we're all family. We just got to remember that, and that we're all on the same side, and we all got to work through it. It's a